This video covers the upgrade of EIS from 6.10.2 to 6.10.3, but the process is applicable to any version of 6.10. Although the EIS database consists of four schemas, not every schema is upgraded with every release. The EIS installation and upgrade wiki page has details on the components that are to be upgraded with each release, including the files that you need to download. The software can be found in the support packages and patches section of the software download center. This upgrade to 6.10.3 will be to the internal data gateway and data store schemas. The upgrade SQL script for the internal or MIPO schema will be run as the SOPS MIPO user, while the other two SQL scripts will be run as the Oracle system user. As a side note, the process to upgrade the application that is deployed to NetWeaver involves stopping the application, undeploying the existing version, running the installation for the 6.10.3 release, and then redeploying to NetWeaver. I will cover that process in short at the end of this video, but you can see a more detailed video on the process of installing and deploying the app by viewing the installing the EIS application and deploying the EIS application to NetWeaver videos that are already attached to the KBA 2193345. Now, on to the upgrade. I have already extracted the needed software for the schema upgrades to my database server and I've placed everything in the directory EIS 6103. The first schema to upgrade is the internal schema, and the upgrade SQL script is located in the database subdirectory. There are no variables or settings to modify in the script for the internal schema, so I'm just going to log on to SQL Plus as the SOPS MIPO user and run the upgrade SQL script. The script will output to the screen, and we are looking for the line at the end that says the MIPO schema has been upgraded to 6.10.3. Once you see that statement, you can exit SQL Plus. With the internal schema upgrade complete, the next step is to run the script to upgrade the data gateway schema. This is in the database subdirectory of the Gateway Software Directory. There are two variables that may need to be modified in the Data Gateway Upgrade SQL script depending on your environment. The two variables are for the schema name of the Data Gateway and the MIPO schema. If you did a standard installation, you won't have to make any changes here, but if the schema names in your environment are different, Modify the variables to match. Now you can run SQL Plus and log in as the Oracle system user and execute the, the upgrade SQL script. Output from the script will be written to the screen and completion will be signified by the statement that the gateway schema has been upgraded. The upgrade script will also check for invalid objects and if there are any, don't continue with the upgrade to the data store schema until you have fixed the problem causing the invalid objects. Otherwise, you can quit SQL Plus. The final step in the schema upgrade is to upgrade the data store schema. Navigate to the database subdirectory and the directory for the data store schema software. There are two variables in this script that are for the schema name of the data store and the MIPO schemas. Only make changes to the variables if the schema names in your environment are different from the ones listed. Then run SQL Plus and remember to log on as the Oracle system user. When the script completes, double check if the script shows any invalid objects. If there aren't any, the upgrade of the schemas is complete. If there are invalid objects or you experienced other problems with the upgrade, please submit an OSS message to the component SCM-EIS. Although the schema upgrade is now complete, one small part remains, and that is the upgrade of the application. At this point, I have already shut down the 6.10.2 version of the app through NetWeaver and undeployed that version. The next step is to run the install-smartops.sh script 
for the version of the app that you are upgrading to, 6.10.3 in this case. This process is just like installing a new version of EIS in that you will answer a series of questions about where to install the application, schema name and password for the MIPO schema, etc. If you need more detail on this process, see the installing the EIS application and deploying the EIS application to NetWeaver videos that are already attached to the KBA 2193345. I'll enter the information to match my environment to complete the script, and the output will be a new smartops.sca file that can be deployed to NetWeaver. I'm using the NetWeaver Telnet admin tool to deploy the application in this tutorial. There are details about this deployment method as well as others in the installation guide. The syntax of the deploy command includes the full path to the SCA file. Feedback on the deployment process will be to the screen for you to monitor. The result we are looking for are the success messages in the deployment summary. After deployment completes successfully, start the EIS application with the start app command. I've logged on to the application after it has started and I want to show proof that the application has indeed been upgraded to 6.10.3. Access the Help About menu and you will see the version is 6.10.3 with a release date of 11-19-2015. That concludes the video on upgrading the EIS database schema.